Many of you guys out there have back problems, knee problems, ankle problems, uh, shin splinter is a huge problem, okay? For all you guys out there with shin splinters, I know how you feel, but now I'm gonna tell you why you get those shin splinters. Weight is of course an issue, but the problem is walking on flat ground. The minute your heel touches the ground, it sends a shock wave all the way up through your knee, through your hip, all the way up through your back, all the way up to the back of your head. So, because as we were man, we were not having shoes, we walked on our, on the palms of our feet. Our heel was not first impact because if you go on marble right now or go out on tile and I say run around the block barefooted, you're not gonna run on your heel first because that is gonna hurt. So when man put on shoes and start walking heel first, our gait got different, okay? So we gotta get back to our natural roots, and our natural roots is tippy toes. So here's the thing, since the ground is flat, it's difficult for me to put my tippy toe down first because when I press my leg out, you see the first thing that's gonna hit is my heel. You see my foot here, so I have to bend my foot to hit with the tippy toes. And that makes you look like you're a ballet dancer. So how do we do to fix that? Well, we elevate the ground. So. I'm gonna start this treadmill now, as what you're gonna see is, if it were gonna start, the emergency brake was on. Here we go. And restarting. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna force the ground to make me comfortable walking. So now walking flat, I'm walking on my heels, okay? Doesn't matter the speed. It's gonna be heel, foot, heel, foot, heel, foot. That's a problem. That gives me impact on my heel. Ow, 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 ow. So that's why everybody that's walking uphill, you see them grab this railing like, oh my God, okay? Here's the problem. We're not made to walk this way. So what are we made to walk like? We're made to walk on our toes first. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put this incline. The max is 18. I'm comfortable at 16. And now you're gonna see my, my ground, my floor level changes. So now, my weight is going to go straight on my the palms of my feet first and then because i'm leaning forward my heel never gets to touch the floor because the minute my leg is getting back here i'm already moving forward so now i can increase the speed i am comfortable at a 2.4 at a 16 incline so like i said i just did this for an hour so as you can see now how my the treadmill is pulling my legs back. I'm keeping my weight on the paws, as we would say it, on my paws and off my heel. And now I can do this whatever way I want to do it. You know, long paces. As long as that heel never touches the ground, you're good to go. And now it's a little bit like a treadmill and a stairmaster had a baby. But it's natural for a body to move this way. So, like I said, I just did this for 60 minutes. I burned about 760 calories. So this cardio here makes it possible to avoid impact on the ground. And all the pain in my joints is gone because the first muscle that hits the ground is my paw. The paw, calf muscle, calf muscle up to my thighs, thighs up to my hip. So these are just like in, on an elliptical machine, moving back and forth. My footsie, my paw hits the ground and it moves my leg back. Now I can choose ass muscles to move. I wanna do my waistline. I wanna crunch while I'm walking. All these possibilities come when your mobility comes in and there's no weight on your joints, okay? But the minute is, we go down back down on flat, See my gate chains. I'm gonna bring it all the way down. And bring it down. Look at my gate. I'm trying to stay on my tippy toes. Now I lost my tippy toes. Now I'm flat footed and now I'm on my heels. So change what you're walking on and you get the most amazing cardio workout. The first thing that hits the ground when I take a step forward. 
is my paws. Okay? My paws grab the ground, I put my weight on it, and the treadmill brings my leg back, my ass, my, my, my glute muscles, my hamstrings, everything is activated because this is what our body is made to do, to walk upright, uphill, not flat, uphill. If you walk like this, it's the most natural way for your body to burn calories, to move, and flexibility. Because no matter what you do, you can do it while you're on the treadmill because you're in balance. It's right here, your center of gravity. So it doesn't matter how you walk, as long as you make sure that that paw, that uh, palm of your foot, touches the ground and stays with the weight on it there. And then everything else moves in unison, like it's supposed to. Muscles have function purpose this is my purpose for my bottom part of my muscles this is purpose but when I wanted to function I isolate my training and I go over my machine and do the exercises to make this easier better more comfortable and better for our body flexibility goes up there's no impact on your bones this is how to do it so guys you want to burn fat fast I just did 60 minutes Burn 750 calories, and I can do it go all day. Now I'm on my second hour, almost, because I have to shoot these videos. So guys, want to burn fat? Want to be natural? Are you always hurting when you go on the stairmaster? You're always hurting going on the treadmill. You're always hurting going on the bike. It's uncomfortable. This is natural. This is what we're made to do. Let's do it together.